Aloha, my name is Hannah Mariyama. I am the owner and master artist here at Yama Studios, a semi-permanent makeup studio based here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I am here today to answer some questions that are commonly asked about microblading and semi-permanent makeup. This is my favorite question. <laughs> this is my favorite question, you guys. Uh, you would not believe <laughs> the amount of women that come into my studio and ask me if I'm gonna shave off their entire eyebrow. I could not figure out where this came from in the beginning, but turns out a lot of my clientele got their eyebrows microbladed in the Philippines. About 20 years ago, I would say, 20 to 30 years ago, actual makeup tattoo was really popular here because people are very active and outdoorsy and it's hot here as well. It makes sense to just wake up and be able to get out of your house. The traffic here is really bad. There's a lot of driving, a lot of people work multiple jobs. It just made sense to have your makeup tattooed on. So a lot of women, when they were traveling abroad, um, they had their eyebrows, uh, their eyebrows or eyeliner tattooed in the Philippines. And when they do that in the Philippines, apparently, this is what I'm told, um, they do microblading in the Philippines now. Uh, Five Brows, I believe, has a pretty large following there. But what I'm talking about is a legitimate black ink tattoo. They're very obvious. I see them all the time. Um, so obviously I do a lot of handing out of my cards to those uh, to those people. But uh, point being, so when in the Philippines, when you go, they said what they do first is they shave off your entire eyebrow with a razor. And I was horrified. I could not believe that they let them do that because that's not, that is not in the spirit of microblading at all. Don't ever, ever, unless they are a doctor and they are operating on your face, on your eyebrows, let anyone for any reason shave your eyebrows off. Just don't, just don't let them do that to you. That's not a good look. It's difficult for your eyebrow hair to um, recover from that. And as a whole, what I usually tell my clients is that we need to treat our eyebrow hair like it's like they're flowers, not like they're weeds. So don't pluck them out and don't shave them all off. Let me just tactfully say that the the work that was done quite a while ago, several decades ago, with tattoo ink is not, um, it does not look natural. It does not look like it belongs. And in fact, sometimes it can really be, um, it's difficult to remove and it's also difficult to cover up. So I would advise you to be very careful. I use a razor to do my pre-grooming. Just if you have any doubts in your mind, just make sure that they're not going to take off your whole eyebrow. I don't know what the rationale would be for that. I, I guess maybe someone might tell you it's so they can make the shape, but they should be designing the brow specifically for you, factoring in your hair growth, factoring in your facial symmetry, factoring in any irregularities you may have in your skin. So I, I just don't let anyone shave your eyebrows off. I, I've thought that, that should go without saying, but apparently it's pretty widespread, so I just want to address that. But the spirit of microblading and the spirit of semi-permanent makeup, I believe, and this is my Yama Studios philosophy, is that it should look as natural as possible. It should look as much like you as possible. It should be a really natural enhancement. It should go with your face. It should, it should look like it belongs to you. Um, and I think that's a really important part of the art form and the science as a whole. If you'd like to learn more about semi-permanent makeup or you're interested in learning about microblading as well, uh, click on any of my other videos. Uh, if you really want to dive deeper into this world and learn more about it, uh, my book is also linked below. It's called Before the Blade, What You Need to Know Before Getting Microblading or Semi-Permanent Makeup important stuff. It's good. It's a good overview of what to expect, how your appointment's going to go, how to choose your artist, uh, how to care for your semi-permanent makeup, who is a good candidate for it, and uh, just general warnings and cautions, things you need to know, things that might eliminate you, all kinds of good stuff in there. So please subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, and I will be with you all again next week.